Hey coolers, this is Polly P and welcome to my bullet journal setup for May 2023. I, uh, as usual, always like to start off with a sketch and because it helps me to move faster, I can be very indecisive. So I just wanted to plan ahead on what I really wanted to do. And um, for this month, I wanted to just fill these pages with fish. So I did some cute little visions of goldfish and um i used a variety of colors to create them and a lot of and i decided to do some mixed media work to really make them look the way i wanted them to look um as you see here i'm using my watercolor paints um on these pages um to i find it just help my blend colors and look really really nice at times like so i just found my own style in how to use these watercolor paints um the best way that i can you know and i find that usually when i do mixed media um my work comes out really well i just it, it just works for me that way so that's what i decided to do with this piece So like I mentioned before, I use a lot of mixed media and to help me bring this art piece to life, I also would start to see me using some um, fine line uh, markers and also just a basic gel pen to line off the artwork and I find that that's a style that I really really like. So onto my next spread, it is my two page month at a glance and I really wanted to do another version of the goldfish and I sketched it out beforehand like I usually do and I decided to paint it up with a nice blue and do a little ombre effect with some greens and I just loved how it came out with everything. It was really nice to see how the, col the colors came together really well. I was real glad that I picked this combination though because I found it looked real good. I was going to do the same colors like I did the cover page, um, for the cover page for the face fish but I wanted to switch it up and I just loved how it came out. Now I just found that using these markers really helped to make it pop and helped me to move faster too because they're a bit fine tipped and I didn't have to use like a paintbrush to bring these aspects out and so that was real helpful and a good tip if you're using watercolor paints it's good to use your water based markers with it if you want to try to do something like this 
and I outlined it with my uh, just a basic black gel pen and I loved how it looks like it's popping out on the page that's the effect that I, I realize I love now for this spread I am doing my sleep log doing a sleep log is extremely important for me like all the time I just like tracking my sleep because it is well helped to explain certain things that might be going on with you and you just really know like it affects your health a lot so it's always good to see if you get enough sleep and and what you could do on certain days and really to like monitor that as best as you can and I actually forgot to put a decoration on the sleep tracker but I, I left it like that so I didn't really bother so I always um, do a meditation log because I love to keep track of my meditation and really doing that kind of training is very important to me so I decided to track that anybody who's following me would know that that's one tracker that I must always include and on the same page I did my mood planner and I just drew a goldfish well my version of a goldfish that is and just color code the fish so you'll be painting a fish throughout the month now this month guys i am actually doing a weekly spread i decided to do a one page weekly spread and instead of having to like have a decoration for every single page and like to because i like to decorate it but it can be really time consuming especially if you have to do weekly pages so what i decided to do is have the entire week on one page i didn't do it as a two page spread because i don't really have to write it that much it's just bullet points i really need to make when it comes to personal things in my life and it comes to like my mental health and little changes i want to make here and there so that's why i did that and um you see that i continued to to do even more fishes and painted these though in like with yellow and green ombre effect which i absolutely loved and because when you see it in the end i uh, well to me i was really happy with how it turned out so to avoid having to decorate every single page i decided to create dutch doors um which you would see in a bit where i just cut off the excess so that the um decorated part of the page is shown for every single week So at this point is where I cut out the area to create my Dutch doors and I think it's such a cool idea um, to be able to save time and to have a nice look for every single page without having to decorate every single page. And that wraps it up for my bullet journal setup for May 2023. I hope Ole enjoyed it and got some inspiration from it or just enjoyed and relaxed with me while you set up your own.